Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Pastor Victor Kanyari. Uh, Pastor Victor Kanyari has been making news for the wrong reasons, if you may say. Uh, he has been trading on TikTok on uh, things that some are perceived to be inappropriate and of course uh, uh, with the potential to mislead or to cause disgrace to the church of God and to, to the body of Christ and to mislead people. And uh, I got a call from him yesterday, it was his own initiative that we meet and see how to handle this following the statement that I issue that this matter be looked into in a way that will add value to the conversations. The truth of the matter is we have millions of youths on TikTok. The truth of the matter is we have not done enough as a country to manage that huge population of youth who have access to iPhones and smartphones and are able to enjoy themselves on TikTok but they're also making money and doing business. And I think from Brian Shearer's barrio and that entire uh, process, we've learned that this is a population that we cannot ignore. Our youths who have gained access to the internet, it is an irreversible trend. And the earlier as parents, as leaders, as government, we get into it, the better. Yes, there are issues about Pastor Kanyari that I personally have issues with and I have gone public about the deplorable and, and inappropriate uh, comments and uh, some of the jokes that I thought were bringing the church into disrepute. And also the danger of expanding the boundaries of freedom, including freedom of worship, to a point where you never know where it will stop. Because if somebody can bring condoms to the church and hand them over to the pastor, next time someone will have sex right on the pulpit for cloud chasing. I mean, it may look far-fetched, but you never know where it will stop. But the, 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 my greatest joy today is that pastor realized that he has gone wrong, that these things were taken out of context. People took advantage of him, his popularity and his ability to mobilize and create a narrative and they, they, some of them did things that were inappropriate. And they reached out to me and we have started our meeting this morning. My, my commitment is that I'll talk to the relevant government agencies. And I've already started that conversation, will not disclose the nature of our conversation. Uh, but I will also ensure that we mentor him. But more than that, I invited uh, Anvais Mundalo here, who is the chairman of the Jubilee Youth Link, and my mentee and a friend of mine, because I think we must start to pay attention from a policy perspective and leadership perspective to the millions of youths on TikTok and how we can work with them, how we can create conversations to ensure that they utilize those uh, platforms fully with our blessings and within the realms of moral bounds and with, without breaking the law. That conversation requires political leaders and young people like him I think there are some people who are too old to understand even this conversation. And that's why I reached out to the young people. I have a, a few young lawyers who are my mentees who are joining us and the other international donors and the supporters who like to see how they can pick this and rather than allow it to go into waste, turn this positive energy of Pastor Kanyari himself, the young people who are following him, but also analyze the entire gamut of the TikTok as a, as, a, as a digital platform, how it can create jobs, wealth for our youth, and have useful conversations that are going to create happiness, address issues of mental wellness, and ensure that the church embraces technology, not condemn technology. And that is not used in the manner in which Victor Kanyari has done so far, but we turn this into something positive, so that those numbers that are following you, those people who are waiting to know the next course, they will get content, but content that is regulated and is within the moral bound, and also that uh, goes with his dignity as a man of God and as a pastor. So these are the conversations. Uh, we'll be doing this for the longest. If it's going to take a month, we are going to commit ourselves into it. But the idea is there is no end to having conversations on how to empower our young people to use TikTok appropriately, create their own movement, but add value to the narrative of national development. 
So I'd like him to uh, just say a word and then we'll invite the chairman of the Youth Link to tell us uh, what we can do. <coughs> I know there is a conference that uh, Mondalo is organizing and the reason why I thought he should be here, the Pan-African Youth Link, that actually person should bring all those people yeah, and they yeah, register and yeah, come. Yeah, and then we can yeah. mentor them there. So there is the Af uh, Pan-African uh, uh, Youth Conf uh, Congress which is attended by very great people, including PLO Lumumba, uh, President uh, Olesegun of Vasajo and others. And I've been following the conversation uh, from where I see it to support that conversation, to be one of the speakers, to be able to mobilize uh, resources for them. And I think uh, we would like to have this to, rather than allow this to go on behind the scenes or in the back streets of the internet, we want to bring this to the uh, table. Yeah. and yeah. get corporates and governments to have this conversation yeah. so that some of the discussions about sex, reproductive health, and so on should not be demonized but will be used in a manner that will help our young people not to get lost but to find the way and manage their lives in a manner that will add value to national development. So that's why we are here. We have just started our meetings and we thank you. I thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Um, uh, sometimes we run after people, you know, just have, wanting to have conversation, yeah. and they run away. Others create narratives that they are being harassed. Yeah. You have uh, presented yourself, yeah. you reached out, yeah. and this is honorable. So for me, it should just ask you, please tone down. You are a man of God, you are respected, you have a lot of following. You may be able to manage, you may not see the danger, but the people that are looking up to you, uh, they, they, they are looking up to you because they see you as a role model. How then do we ensure that we don't lose that dignity uh, and that, that, that the, 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 the position of a role model that we don't re lead these young people as, as trained? Yeah. These are processes that I'm willing and committed to help you yeah. and to support you from where I sit, even as the CEO of MCSK, uh, as an elder, as a leader, to ensure that we work together to get our youth to create content that will add value and will make money. And I want to thank you for availing yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm afraid because I'm going to Alfred Mutua. Because I'm going to Ezekiel. Ezekiel Mutua. Pole. Ezekiel Mutua. Because I'm going to Kunikubali. I'm going to give you a simu. I'm going to give you a name. I'm going to give you a mentor. I'm going to give you a mentor. I'm going to give you a I'm very happy because I'm going to give you a name. I'm going to give you a name. I was here. Na kama nilikuwa na mefanya dhambi. I'm going to give you a name. I'm going to give you a name. So I'm very happy. Thank you so much. Asante. Asante. We'll walk the journey with you. Thank you. And don't feel condemned. Yeah, yeah. I'll be with you. Yeah. At our gate of Kotini, we are here to light the candle. Oh. Be the light. Yeah. Not to condemn, not to hurt people. Hata wale waliomba msama, niliona wengine, some of even the ladies who Let us find out how can we use that cloud yeah. to help our young people. We are here as leaders to ensure that we work with them. And we don't want to lose you. We want you to maintain that leadership. Yeah. They came because they trust you. Yeah, yeah. They came because they believe in you. Yeah. They came because they believe you have a platform. Well, let us use that platform for good. So don't chase them away. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. Ask enable us to have a conversation with them. Yeah. And let them not feel condemned. Yeah. There are many others who have, it's only that they have not gone public, Very who are true. doing more crazy things. Yeah, yeah. If we can manage the positive energy of our youth and direct it to creative works that will make them, give them money, yeah. give them uh, fame in a manner that is managed. I think we can use your platform. So for me, you are a blessing in this guy. And what, go, what, 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 this what the devil <laughs> meant to, for evil, yeah. we can turn it for good. And do you have something to say? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ali and uh, Pastor Kanyari. Uh, first of all, uh, for me, I've uh, said that uh, the young people of this country, there is a mentorship gap. And the mentorship gap can only be solved by those people who are came after us. And so for me, Pastor Kanyari is, belongs to that, uh, the, the category of people who came before us, they have better experience of things. And so the first important thing is that Pastor Kanyari is able to come and connect with the young people. Because for you to be able to influence the young people, you must first of all be in their space. And so Pastor Kanyari has come into the space of young people. And because as young people, people we have started following him, you go to his uh, lives and you see uh, millions and thousands of young people following him and that is the right place for us to start and therefore from there Pastor Kanyari can now be able to transform them into leading them to, towards the right path and that's why for me I'm like uh, 
first first of all it's a good thing that you joined the tiktok like because many leaders and many elders had not found sense in going where the young people are yeah you took an opportunity you took that stride and joined the young people where they are yeah. and yeah. now we can be able to benefit from your wealth of experience yeah. of course there are things that uh, as a doctor has said have gone south <coughs> and I'm not yeah. but it's because you came that's why we are even having this conversation in the first place yeah, quite, and okay. now today because you have come to where the young people are you can be able to guide the young people towards prosperity towards what is the right thing to do because they look up to you they see the cars you drive they are able to see the kind of life you live yeah. and they admire that kind of life yeah. now this is the opportunity where now you can be able to tell them the real story of how these things came to be it was not because of clout it was because you actually put in the real work yeah. because most of our young people today they don't want to put in the real job yeah. they see you on tiktok and they think you became like that because you are in tiktok no. now this is an opportunity for you to tell them that be, this took a real journey, there was real work, there was real effort, and there was a real job that was actually done. So when we have the likes of yourself, and Daktari has always been a champion of young people, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. why we, when he said, come here, we, most of us don't think twice. When he says, come, we avail ourselves. We come, yeah. Because he has mentored us, and so together, when you join hands, I'm sure now the young people can be able to have a positive trajectory. Because the first thing you need before you influence young people, you must be in their space. You must be where they are. They must be able to trust you. They must be able to take you as an elder brother. They must be able to trust you as a parent. They must be able to take you as a friend. That is what you have done. Young people now trust you. They take you as a friend. I think now the next step is for you to now influence us positively. Then I think we'll be able to move forward. Very true. Thank very you very true. much. Thank you so much.